wait until you see the sweet face of Ava. I am so happy to welcome back from the Gulf Coast Humane Society both Robin Griffiths and Jessica Bamford here with one of their furry favorites. <laughs> Can I call her your favorite? She's a sweetheart. <laughs> yes. So she's going to steal the show as we were talking about today. Look at her just hanging out on your lap. She really is ready for a home, I promise, although she's uh, enjoying her, her lap time right now. So tell us a little bit about Ava. She's ready to go home in maybe a, a couple of weeks, yeah, a week yeah, or two maybe? Yeah, in a few days to a week. Um, she's just kind of recouping from a little <laughs> surgery she had. Uh, she's a three-month-old hound mix. So, so sweet. And every dog has a story. So what's her story? How um, did you guys get her? She came from a shelter. She was a transfer into us, and she came all by herself. So we were, nursed her back to health. Oh, she had, you know, awesome. little worms like puppies get, and those are all gone now. And <laughs> Um, she's just recently been spayed, so she's going to be good to go pretty soon. Do you have any idea of maybe how big she will get? Um, you know, with the hound terrier mix, it's hard to say, but she'll be a good, decent-sized dog. Not overly big, but I think a good size. Are those good family dogs? Maybe a family with kids, or I what would do you think, think so? I mean, especially if they got her when she was young, she so would learn, you know, that that's her family and those are her kids. So, yeah. yeah. And this is, I know a lot of times, too, with families, you want to adopt, a lot of families out there want to adopt a young dog so that they have it for years to yes. come with the kids. So she's got a lot of time with the family. I just can't get over that. Look at her. <laughs> so, so adorable. So if you are interested in taking Ava home, adopting her, give Gulf Coast Humane Society a call. In the meantime, you guys have lots of fun events coming up. We you are do. always putting on something to raise money for our community's uh, animals. So talk about what you've got coming up. We do. Um, coming up February 27th, Saturday, mm -hmm. um, Wicked Dolphin is putting on the Era Party again for us this year. Last year it was the 1920s and it was a lot of fun. Big success last oh, year. It was. A lot of people and it turned was out for that. So much fun. And this year it's going to be the 1940s. So, Ooh. kind of think USO meets Hollywood glamour. Yes, sold. So, so, and then what is the purpose of these events where you want everybody to come out because it does help our animals? It right? does. Their the proceeds help uh, Gulf Coast Humane Society, which will help this particular one to help us fund the Cape Coral Shelter that mm -hmm. we're in a capital campaign for. Yes. So we're very excited that Wicked Dolphin is so kind to put this on for us. And the Cape Coral Shelter, so what are the, we haven't talked about that in a while either. When is that actually going well, to be? Well, we're still finalizing on the land, okay. but everything is moving forward and we're very excited about it. I love that we have a new home, another another place to take them when they're in need of help. Uh, you also, this February is also National Dental Month, and I think this is interesting too because uh, I learned from a veterinarian in the past that you should actually be brushing your pet's teeth every single day. <laughs> yes, it is dental month and our veterinarian clinic uh, has dental specials so people can get their te uh, pet's teeth cleaned mm -hmm. so they can call the uh, office and schedule an appointment. But what we do is try to encourage all year long for people to take care of their pet's oral hygiene by either brushing their teeth, um, having additive water additives mm -hmm. or dental chews, but making sure when they go in for their routine examination that they are getting their dental uh, check. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is a good opportunity to come in, let someone show you how to do it, mm -hmm. uh, and then hopefully you can maintain that maybe the rest of the year. <laughs> a lot to Absolutely. keep up with, but it does help them. Also, you have World Spay Day coming up. This is going to be February 23rd, and you're offering some good discounts we for are. our family. Yes, so we're going to have some specials to kind of help reduce the pet population, of course, is so important. And it's also very important to the animal's health. Mm -hmm. um, they do tend to live longer when they're spayed and neutered. Um, and it helps with mammary tumors, any sort of cancers as well. And so we are running some specials to help that with our spay and neuter clinic. And I don't think a lot of people realize how important that actually is to get them spayed Very and neutered. Very important, You know, yes. we talk about kitten season, and we have kitten season a lot of times because <laughs> yes. people aren't doing the spay and neuters, but it really does uh, help cut down on the population. Absolutely. And, uh, because we yeah. just don't have enough homes for all no, of them. No, nope. So I, although we want to help all of them and take all of them home, every time you have an animal on here, I'm like, okay, this one's going to be mine, but I've got a full house right now. Uh, any other dog other than Ava, cats, you guys pretty much have a, a good selection there. Oh, we oh, always, always. always have a, many, many um, dogs and cats. Um, can vary between 100 to 150 dogs at any time. Oh, my gosh. Um, and countless cats and kittens and um, trying to take rabbits. care of all. Yes, rabbits. And rabbits. We have rabbits, uh -huh. guinea pigs. Um, we've had a hedgehog. We had a <laughs> well, I love that you open your hearts <laughs> and doors to uh, all of our furry animals out there. And then you're always looking for volunteers and foster families too. So if you want to learn more about that, uh, check out Gulf Coast Humane Society. And hopefully we can get Ava at home. I don't think that will be a problem. <laughs> I don't think so. Thank you, ladies. Great Thank to have you, you back. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll send it over to Carly. What do you think, Carly? Are you going to take her home? I know, right? Did she sleep throughout the entire thing? Did she ever <laughs> get up, even open her eyes. Jeez, how rude. <laughs> She's so cute. All right, all right, let's face it.
The only time you watch commercials is during the big game, right? Up next, we are giving you a sneak peek at one of the more musical commercials with a pretty funny message. Stay with us.